my philodendron scandens and it started off as a, a little cutting really um and i've had i think i've had it about a year now and the leaves have finally started to size up so that you can see the leaves are i don't know half the size of my hand now but the leaves are gorgeous it's a lovely little plant really nice you can see it there and I've still got it in soil uh, and it as you can see it's just one whoop, it's just one vine and what I've used for it is this like garden wire what I use uh, I just have it stuck around the pot and the garden wire is great because I can just tie it to it and it grows happily if you look out here that's the size of my hand and that's the leaf there so the leaves are, are starting to grow really big and as the weather changes I move this one closer to the window so if we move on you can see the rest of the plants this is my bedroom at the moment and I've got an alocasia here nice big leaves there I've had this one since last year I rescued it from M&S you believe M&S is selling alocasias and I rescued it because it was there in m and and yeah and then I've got an, uh, uh, an Adansonia here and this one actually I got this one it's grown really big now but I got it as a like a little cutting and a plant swap um, and yeah and the leaves are like that's my hand some of the leaves are as big as my hand if not bigger can see there but as they're growing bigger they're now starting to really size up you know and that's that one and it's still in soil needs watering still in soil on a moss pole but the mo the uh, roots have started to grow into the moss pole and I just put a cup of, cup of water on the top that's how I water it I just put a cup of water and let the water just drain through uh, I'm a bit lazy with my water into for it, but it grows really well. And like I say, I just turn it every so often. These plants throughout the year will kind of move locations. Um, I'll have them once the weather starts getting nice because I'm down in Cornwall. Uh, they go back next to the window, and I'll show you in my bathroom, bathroom, keeping it real. And I've got a snake plant which grows really well and still in soil got Swiss cheese plant leaf. this one I got it as a cutting actually it was just like a single leaf cutting from my friend in Newcastle and it, it's grown it's grown quite happily I've just left it to do its own little thing and then I've got this one everybody calls it the friendship plant I've had that one for a couple of years and as it grows babies I do usually just leave the little babies you can see them all starting to grow again um but yeah it's grown quite big and then i've got the jade plant I've had, this one was actually a massive plant and i cut it down because um i wanted to just because i found you know once it gets big it kind of gets like root rot so i just chopped it down and then as i've as i've chopped it down i've just propagated it but i've always kept this plant because it just reminds me of my nana so there's a little bit of personal why i keep that one there i know what i always find is when i'm quite happy in life i always grow plants and then when i'm not so happy i don't grow so plants. we're in the next room here we're in that my lounge i won't show you because it's a bit messy but i've got this another alocasia the exact same one but just a smaller version there and then i've got a regular philodendron here and and it's this is a plant i've owned on and off for about 20 years and I use it, I've grown them on moss poles. I've also grown them just where the training plants, but they're, they're so adaptable and they're lovely. And like I say, I just use this, like, it's like, I think it's like a garden wire, but it's not a wire, it, it's actually plastic, but it grows round it really well. And the, the leaves always size up well. So this one I propagate, pre, propagate quite a bit. And then I've just given it to like my daughters and friends. And we're moving along. I've got an anthurium here, which is growing. 
just growing quite happily. Got a little epipenem there, which I got that one last year and it was just like a small cutting from Etsy. And I didn't even really think about it. It's starting to come up now. Uh, and what I've also done is I've made like a little planter just with some different plants in it to see how they're going to grow. Um, and they're starting to grow now. They're all starting to size up. So I've just put a few little cuttings in We're there. We're now on the window ledge in my sewing studio. I'll show you the rooms later when I've actually tidied them. Anyway, so I've got philodendron micans there, which I absolutely... And that one I got as a plant swap last year. And oh, shamefully, um, all the cuttings that, I had, that the lady gave me, they all died off. But this one, just the only one that survived you know so because it's been so cold <coughs> excuse me i've kept everything by the window and just to try and get it to get it through the winter season and you can see i've got a lovely string of pearls which i just leave it and it just seems to grow quite happily there yeah that's my string of pearls i've got some skinned axis cuttings um from a friend in Plymouth and all of them seem to have died off but the, I've got a few that I'm trying to keep and hopefully I'm going to pop them to start out so I, that one's a gloriosa this is the second one I've had because the first one didn't grow but this one looks okay it looks like it's yeah it's start, it's growing quite happily I'm really ha I'm really impressed you know because it's such a beautiful plant and then we'll move on. I've got a very cosum here. And I just can't believe how much this one is starting to grow. There uh, it's, it's as you can see, it's all nice and yeah, lovely. And it is, it's only in a tiny little pot. I only got that at the end of the year. And I was thinking, oh well, I'll try, and if it doesn't grow, it doesn't grow, you know. But yeah, it's starting to, the leaves are starting to come out. I'm gonna have to repot that one. I'm dreading potting it though, because that's always the thing in it, is when you pot it, it's what, what's going to happen. Moving on, along my window. Same plant, another philodendron scandens there. That's the second one I've got. You can see it there, it's grown really nice. And then I've got a couple of little cuttings there, and I've just forgotten what they're called, which is so annoying. I'll show you my little cuttings there. Yeah. <laughs> got one variegated, gone out my head what it's called. I've had this plant for a couple of years and it takes so long to grow, it's ridiculous. And then I've got a string of buttons, which takes forever to grow. But I've got it growing in a little glass dome because it's so annoying. I've got um, those little flies, what you get, those little fly gnats. So as you can see, I've got, uh, I'm hoping, what I'm thinking of doing is changing a lot of my plants this year to pond to lechuza pond and that's that is my goal for this year